So as you can tell by the title of this video, yes, it's another BMW video. I know, I know. But just hold on, we've got big plans for the Civic once once it gets a little bit better. It's a little bit poorly at the moment. A little bit poorly. And um, yeah, I've got an RBC inlet come in and that we're gonna try and get it done next weekend. So just keep your eyes peeled on the channel and there will be Honda videos coming up. Just, just trying to get some money in. So first of all, you need to remove everything from your boot to be able to get to these strut towers. I've got quite a lot of stuff, so this should take a while. So we've got the strut bar here. The strut towers are behind this bit of carpet here. And you need to undo those two bolts that hold the strut in. And basically, <laughs> position those two holes over those two holes cut a little section out here and then it's pretty much straightforward. So you need to remove those two bolts from the strut tower using a 13mm socket. Get those two off and you can put this end of the strut over there and on there and bolt it back up. So now that all the bolts are off you can put the strut top on and start to do the bolts back up. So to be able to get to the strut tower from when we've got the carpet over it, we're gonna have to cut a hole in it. I've done it one hole big, but I'm gonna have to go a size bigger to get around the size of the tubing. So we have got one strut in, just I'm leaving it loose for now in case it needs to be moved from left to right. You can do that whilst it's loose. Second carpet strip back. Now I'm going to do the two bolts on the second strut and get the second top mount in. So that is strut bar brace number two in. So now I've got to cut a hole in the fabric about here to fit the end of that strut in which threads into there. So I have strut on number one and strut over there on number two. So all we've got to do now is tighten up the bolts and that should be done. You want a two socket, 17 mils on either of the bolts. Do it up on both sides to tighten it. <laughs> Mate, I'm sweating it so hot. So with both of the locking nuts undone, you can see it's quite loose. So you need to get a screwdriver. On this one you stick it through that hole and just do it up so both of the struts or the bars go either end and tighten up together. This side I've run out of thread, but on this side the locking nut is still tight, it's still loose. but it, strut bar is tight and it ain't going anywhere so you just do that locking nut up get an adjustable or a 25 mil spanner on it and do it up and it's tight so once it's all done and it's in and all your carpets are back in you can just go back and replace every single bit of thing you took out of your car, which in my case is quite a lot. Hey, I'm in the video. So when everything goes back in, the strut sits, well you can probably see it, but it sits back there quite nicely. Get everything inside your car. Boot closes, so we're all good. It's not my video today, but I'm in the outro anyway. Stay tuned on the channel because next week we'll be fitting an RBC inlet manifold to the EP3 Type R, which, is, which will be actually a good video. So yeah, this was kind of uh, cheap. But this was a video in, in between this, doing t stuff on the Type R. It was a video to upload because I'm just waiting for stuff to come and I've got nothing here to do yet. 
So the strut bar was free, so. The RBC's arrived, the gaskets arrived, so we're ready to rock and roll with that. So just keep your eye on the channel every week, every weekend we are uploading. Like, subscribe, and click that bell button, turn your notifications on, okay? So we'll see you next week, we're out.